Hi guys, welcome to the Board of Studies MCQs for ACPM. We are on a mission to be covering every possible MCQ. This subject is all about business. So in case you love business, watch these videos for time pass also. They'll help you a lot. We try to bring about all the practical examples, all the things. So therefore, like, you know, this subject still interests you. I understand it's a self-paced paper, but I also do understand that employers are always richer than employees. And that is why I love the knowledge that teaches me about business. And that's whatever is this subject all about. Two things before I will be starting, our complete course is there in the description below. You all can enroll for it. Second, in case you have any doubts, you all can always write to us on our telegram ID at the rate agent X. We'll be happy to respond. And uh, good news for CA Inter guys, I'm going to be coming up and we'll be putting my uh, previous batch uh, entire course on YouTube. Uh, it will include the classwork section, the homework section. It will include the summaries for every question, ranking for every question. Tests that I hold at the end of each and every chapter. And that is one of the reasons like, you know, that those students who study from us, like, you know, they all are very strong in their concepts. Marks are byproduct of their concepts. I would not like to be saying that the students get how much. Okay, that you all can enroll and uh, you will be able to find out. And in any case, these lectures will be coming free of cost for everybody. And uh, they'll be coming in two languages, Hindi English mix and then complete English course. Okay, let's start it off uh, for today's question. This chapter number four that we all are doing. And this is all about product life cycle. Which are the characteristics and strategies in the growth phase of the product life cycle? So which strategies and what characteristics you employ in the growth stage? Do remember there are four stages of product life cycle. You all have introduction stage, growth stage, maturity stage and declining stage growth stage is the second stage whereby the sales have started to increase profits have started to increase competition has started to increase and after growth stage comes a maturity stage whereby competition becomes too intense so therefore in the growth stage obviously you have to start to be thinking how to be retaining the customer how to have product differentiation also okay that will like you know make your product different from that of the competitors so Let's see our four options. Sorry, these are the four things that are there. We have to be selecting that which are the stages, uh, which are the characteristics and strategies of the growth stage. Okay, so these four things are offer a product with extension, service and warranty. Yes, I think so. We can be doing that in the growth stage. So therefore, our product is differentiated from the competitors. Please do remember in the, grow in the growth stage, no, you have started to do good. Whenever a company starts to be doing good, no, Obviously, profits increase, but then competition also starts to be increasing. New competitors start to be coming because they find this industry attractive. Okay, so you'll have to be doing something to differentiate yourself. So answer should be first. It should be. Second, high R&D spend to improve or enhance the product features to differentiate it from the products from that of the competitors. I think high R&D spend no, usually happens in the introduction stage when you're developing. And it could be happening in the declining stage. Like, you know, you cannot be making the product altogether new. Yes, few of the things you will have to try to differentiate might be give better service, but that is not R&D. I don't think so. So second should not be there in the growth stage. I don't think so. There is no R&D spend that we all do in the growth stage. In fact, we try to be spending more on uh, something like say advertisement. Okay. Third, shift from product awareness to product conviction. I guess so. Okay. So therefore answer should be one, should be three also. Shift from product awareness to product conviction. See, awareness we would like to be doing in the introduction stage mainly. Now people know about our product. We have to tell them this, this is the best product that is there. They are like, you know, they know about our product yeah, because introduction stage is over. Fourth, build intensive distribution channels to handle new volumes and new markets. Of course, in introduction stages, uh, volumes are less. But then the moment you shift from introduction to growth stage, our sales profits start to be increasing at a very high rate and so do the customers and to tap these new customers okay you will have new distribution channels also example currently you were selling to wholesalers you can think of directly selling to the retailer so fourth also makes sense i guess so one three and four actually make sense to me 
you bring me the four options please 1 2 and 3 1 2 and 4 i think so 1 2 and 4 should be the answer 2 3 and 4 and then 1 2 3 and 4 so i guess answer should be 2 over here i think so i say is given the description i'll go through that the correct answer is 1 2 and 4 okay why in growth stage sales are increasing rapidly due to greater customer awareness competitors enter the market and hence competition increases to differentiate, basic products should not be offered with product extension, service and warranty. That's what I told you. This will help you in building the product conviction and loyal customer base for the products. Since sales are increasing, product availability should be made through multiple retailers or over, over different sales channels. This will increase market reach and market share. Statement high R&D to improve or enhance a product features to, different, to differentiate it from the products from that of the competitors relates mainly in the maturity stage okay it can happen actually in the declining stage also to be very honest okay although that will not help you still because now like you know people are fed up of your product but R&D is something that actually happens in the introduction stage can happen towards the end of the maturity stage or the declining stage also okay so I guess so we were correct only one two and four are the correct answers so therefore correct answer should be two that's it now i'll see you all uh, next time by the way this is the qr code for the playlist which is there on our youtube channel this contains all the mcqs uh, which are there in your module whether they are standalone mcqs or they are case studies Next time, till then, take care. One small thing, CA is part of life. It is not life. Those people who fail in CA, it does not mean that those guys do not do anything in life. Okay, they might be far more successful than the people who have cleared CA. This does not mean that you should not clear. It does not mean that. But uh, don't take it so seriously that you end up in destroying your life. You have to study. We all do understand. You have to play that you all should understand. You all should do all other things. You all should read newspapers. You all should know the current affairs. In your life, this is whatever take you. This is whatever will take you to the ladder of success. Saying it from experience, rest your wish. Take care next time. Bye.